Hey Math 20-2, today we're going to look at applications of quadratic functions. So in this lesson we're going to explore practical applications of quad functions. Some questions will require a graphing calculator, while others will not. Let's look at example one then. During a high school football game, the height of a punt can be modeled as a quadratic function of time as h at t. So height at time t is going to equal negative 5 times t minus 1.5 squared at 12.25. And it tells us what the variables mean, where t is the number of seconds which have elapsed since the football was punted, and h at t is the number of meters above the, the ground after t seconds, so height. All right. So A, without using the graphing features of a calculator, explain how the following can be determined from the equation, and then state the values. So what's the maximum height of the football? How can I figure that out from the equation? Well. We know the max occurs at the vertex as the y value. Or we know the y value of the vertex is k. Right? Recall the vertex as the coordinates a, uh, h and k. when the equation is in the form as it is up above. So if I know my vertex occurs at h, which is 1.5, and k, which is 12.25, then I calculate the max is at 12.25 meters. All right. So we do not need to do any calculations there. We can look at that, get that right from the equation. Part two. What's the time it takes for the football to reach its maximum height? All right, so time it takes to reach its maximum height, again, that time to reach the max is the x-coordinate of the vertex. So that's the h value. So Time is 1.5 seconds to reach the max. All right. Therefore, 1.5 seconds to reach its max height. All right. Part three. What is the height of the football above the ground as the punter makes contact with it? So the height as the punter makes contact with it, well, that height occurs as the punter makes contact with it. That's time zero. If you go back and look at this definition, t is the number of seconds which have elapsed since the football was punted. So as the punter makes contact with the football, this is really time zero. Therefore, we're going to find out what the y-intercept is. So we are looking for the y-intercept. That occurs when t is 0. So in our equation, h at t, well, t is now 0, is negative 5 times t minus 1.5 all squared plus 12.25. All right. So we worked this thing out. You can use your calculator to figure that out. Negative 5 times 0 minus 1.5 all squared plus 12.25. All right. And we get a value of 1. So uh, the height at time zero is one meter. Does that make sense? Would it make sense for the punter to contact the punt at one meter above the ground? Yeah. You think the punter is dropping the ball and his foot's coming off the ground? That would be about a meter, a meter off the ground. So that makes sense in the context of this question. Part four. What's the height of the football above the ground 0.5 seconds after contact? So again, we've got the equation. 
height at time 0 0.5 seconds would be negative 5 times t, which is now 0 0.5, minus 1.5 all squared at 12.25. So the height at 0 0.5 seconds would be easy to calculate because we just did that on our calculator. Go second entry and change 0 into 0 0.5. Insert 0.5 and press enter and that is 7.25 meters. So height at 0 0.5 seconds is 7.25 meters. All right. So does that make sense? A half a second after the punter kicks it, it is now at seven and a quarter meters above the ground. Yeah, that's that's getting off the off the punter's foot pretty quick. Part B, make a sketch, sorry, use the feature of the graphing calculator to sketch the graph of this function and verify the answers to A. All right, so let's go to our graphing calculator and graph this thing. So Y equals negative 5 times X minus 1.5 all squared plus 12.25. All right. We have to change our window setting to kind of what makes sense in the context of this question. X is our time variable. We're not going to have a time before zero, so our time minimum should be zero. Our time maximum, I doubt it's going to take 10 seconds for the punt to hit the ground, so maybe we only have to go to something like five seconds. We'll go one second at a time. And minimum height, again, the height of the ground is at zero, so it's going to hit the ground at height 0. Actually, maybe let's go to negative 2 just so we can see the x-axis. And our maximum height, uh, this ball might get high in the air. We know what the maximum height is, 12.25, so we better go higher than that. So let's maybe go to 14. And we can go by a scale of 2, let's say. So now if we graph it, there's what our graph looks like. All right. So sketch this and then determine how many seconds the nearest tenth of football is 10 meters above the ground. So to find out when it's 10 meters above the ground, you go back to your y equals screen. And y is the height, so we type in for y2, 10 meters. If you graph that, we're now looking for the points of intersection on this graph. Right? Where is the ball 10 meters high? At those two points. So a second calculate the point of intersection between the first curve and the second curve and make a guess. So if I want to make the closest guess there, looks like on the way down it's at time 2.17, right? 2.17 on the way down. And on the way up, the second calculate the intersecting point. First curve, second curve, and now let's make a guess closer to this first one. So on the way up, it is at 0.829 seconds. All right. So it says the nearest tenth. So to the nearest tenth, the ball is 10 meters above the ground at uh, 0 0.8 and 2.2 seconds. Now. Let's sketch the graph. So let's go back to the top here and sketch the graph of what's happening. So the graph starts, or the, the punt starts a meter off the ground. And it's going to get to 12.25 and then it's going to come back down. So the maximum height here is at 12.25 meters. And that occurs at x is 1.5 seconds. All right. We just found the points of intersection when it was 10. So y2 we let equal 10. We found those points of intersection to be 0 0.8 and 2.2. All right. Now let's go to part C. 
The punt is not caught by the opposing team and the football hits the ground. Use the features of the graphing calculator to determine how many seconds to the nearest hundredth it took for the football to hit the ground. So what we're looking for now is the x-intercept. Where does the ball hit the ground? Right there. So use the graphing calculator features to figure that out. Let's go back to our graphing calculator and let's find that x-intercept. All right, to do that, we go second function, calculate, and now we're looking for a zero. So we're looking for the zero of the function. Number two, you can go down or just hit two. It's going to give you some commands again, so you want to get left of the x-intercept or that red circle. So it's going to take a while to get there, but it looks like we're definitely left of it. So I can press enter. Now let's get right of it. Okay, so I'm now right of it, and again, the boundaries show up up here. So I'm looking for the x-intercept between those two boundaries, and that's our red circle. I don't have to make a guess, so I can just press Enter. And there it is, 3.065. All right, so the question asks us, this is 3.065. And the question says, to the nearest hundredth, how long it was in the air for 3.07 seconds. All right. That should be enough to let you answer all the questions that you need to from numbers 1 through 8. Away you go.